Hey everybody, what's up? Uh, back today with... Today is a non-gaming video, so if you're not interested in this non-gaming videos, uh, you can just stop this one right now. So, uh, but if you want to hear about something kind of Japan related that might be interesting, then just keep watching, I guess. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, first, I have a sm small announcement for fans of my hair. If you haven't noticed already, I've cut my hair. I cut it. It's different, but it's totally short now. Um, so it's it's the end of an era, I guess. <laughs> my hair is totally different. Um, it's not really crazy different. It's still spiky on top. It's just short in the front now because it was damaged. But totally unrelated to the topic of this video. So today, <laughs> today what I'm going to be talking about is um, being a host in Japan. And I don't know if I've ever mentioned this. I'm, I'm sure I have uh, in some other videos or somewhere. Um, but I, uh, for a brief period, I was a host in Japan. And I didn't really do it for money or anything. I just did it because, you know, we don't have hosts in the U.S. Or I don't know if there are any in Europe, but I doubt it. And uh, <laughs> I did that for a couple of months here just for the experience to just say, like, oh, yeah, I was a host. I did that. And I did. So <laughs> what I want to talk about is being a host. And first, if you don't know what a host is, it's kind of like, I don't know, like you're a guy in a suit who talks to girls and they come in and drink and pay money to do that. So I don't know. It's kind of like a drinking with girls job. <laughs> it's hardly a job, but it's it's hardly fun either. But I'll get into that. Um, let's see. So, let's start with how I became a host. Uh, I was a. This is when I was living in Saitama. I Saitama is just outside of Tokyo, so I was a. I was not far out in Saitama. I was pretty close to Tokyo anyway. But uh, my the Japanese school I was going to was in Saitama, so I was in Saitama, and during that time. In Saitama, I got kind of talked to but on the street by like a scout, I guess, a host scout. And at that time, I wasn't really interested in it, but I thought, oh, I might as well. But he gave me a card and said like, oh, if, you, if you're interested, just like sign up on our website. And I'm like, oh, okay, I'll do that. <laughs> so uh, actually, a couple weeks later, I signed up on the website because I thought, ah, I might as well give it a shot I'm not doing anything and it was all right so I did that I filled out an application on the website and I you know got some e emails back and forth with the uh, owner and I had an interview at the club and I was hired as a host which doesn't it I mean it was just kind of like the interview was by just talking a little bit in Japanese and then we like went over what the job is and they showed me a couple of things and that was about it I mean I didn't really I mean it wasn't a difficult interview it was just kind of like you know do, do you do you look normal enough to be a host do you uh, can you speak to people normally uh, so I think I passed that because I got hired so <laughs> yeah and that's about it so I started being a host and the thing the thing about it was is that I was actually working another job and going to school at the time so I was busy <laughs> I mean I I had like a not a full-time job but I had like I worked 30 hours a week which was like the maximum I could work while being a student and then I went to school in the morning and then I started being a host at night so like as you can imagine my sleep time was like almost non-existent for a couple months like I just slept like two hours or three hours at a time and then I would go to some school or job and then come home and sleep for a couple hours and then back off to some other job in that kind of pattern for months and this the, the host job actually started from the evening so not the evening so much as the middle of the night so I mean I started at around 10 p.m. or 11 p.m. and what I do is you know I would get all suited up and uh, head to the job and you know generally when you go to the it's a it's a club so there's music but I mean it's just a 
you know, kind of a dark bar type of situation where everyone has a table. And customers come in and they pick who they want as their host. And other hosts come to the table also. It's not just the person they pick, but the main person is the person they pick. And then everybody else comes in. So, um, And then people have their own like special customers that always choose them. And they get special like bonus money if they, those people come in. So I don't know. I was... I only worked for a couple of months, so I didn't have that many people who were uh, my my own special customers. But I had a few that were uh, liked me enough to uh, choose me as their special host. But uh, anyway, it was a uh, it wasn't a bad. I mean, it wasn't a fun experience, but it wasn't a bad experience. And mostly the job entailed like talking to people and pouring drinks and making sure they were all right. So like. All you really had to do was, you know, like wipe condensation off their glasses for them and uh, make sure everything was going well, talk to them, make sure they're having a good time, maybe sing songs with them or something on uh, karaoke. And that's, I don't know, I think there's a lot of other stuff involved, but generally, as a general overview, that's pretty much all you did was talk to people and, you know, I guess drink so I mean it could be a fun job for someone who really likes doing that I just I don't but uh, anyway you know most of the customers were what you wouldn't imagine I mean I don't think you'd imagine it but they're pretty usually young and usually hostesses or girls who work at a uh, uh, cabaret which is like cabaret club I guess but uh, they um, you know, they were usually young and did the same kind of job, but they just, I don't know, I don't i don't really understand the motive for, you know, like, this is your job, but then after your job, you come to, like, the opposite of your job to uh, relax or have fun. It's a mystery to me, but that kind of was how it was. Um, it, occasionally, it wasn't, I mean, that was probably the main amount of people who were coming to the club. But there were other types, um, just re regular girls would sometimes come, and at other times, like, sometimes older women would come, like, 40s or 50s, and that was a lot rarer than you would expect, I guess, but it's some, it happened, it wasn't, it wasn't impossible, it could happen. So, I don't know, it, it was kind of a weird experience. For me, because it, culturally we don't have that kind of thing in the U.S., but uh, there was a lot of things involved that, uh, you know, mainly if you want to make money, you have to sell drinks, and that either means making the customer drink a lot or drinking a lot yourself and making them order more. And I have a problem in that. I don't drink alcohol, which was like a funny thing for the job because like it's mainly a drinking job. So like I would I would uh, always be drinking something non-alcoholic, which never got me any money <laughs> because it's not it's like the cheapest thing on the menu. But uh, yeah, I think. But again, I wasn't in it for the money. I just kind of wanted to see what it was like and be able to say I could do it. And you know. It, Sometimes it was fun, and sometimes it was horribly boring or just annoying. And it was just dependent on the customers. And you'd find, like, sometimes I'd find mostly the people who would come back for me are people who I, like, had a good conversation with, which is, like, unlike the other hosts who are more like that kind of, like, let's party and be a little wild and drink and have fun. And a lot of people like that, and some people don't. So... I'm not really a, uh, you know, wild drinking party guy, so <laughs> it's kind of, uh, you know, someone who was looking for something different uh, usually liked me. So that was pretty cool. I mean, I got to, the people who I, I liked when people who were, like, uh, coming for me, because those people were always, like, someone who I usually got along with, which was, would make my night a lot easier. But uh, on days when there weren't people who were like that, um, I spent a lot of time being awkward, like awkwardly trying to be uh, more excited, I guess, than I was. 
And then take note, I was always tired. Like, always. I was never had enough sleep. So I was like, um, really sleepy sometimes. But I don't know. I never had any real complaints from customers. But, you know, sometimes it was, uh, it was, a, it was really a chore for me to be there. And uh, I want to say, like, my favorite, my favorite part of the job, actually, was when the customers were, like, 40 or 50-year-old women. Not because, like, um, they were, you know, attractive or anything, but because they were, they were fun to talk to. I mean, they had a lot of stuff to say, and they'd had tell funny stories, and it was actually, like, interesting. Like, you could talk to them, like and learn things and I thought that was a really fun part for me I mean it was rare that they would come in but I, I'd always like talking to those types of people because you got a lot of like I actually got something out of it like I felt like oh that this that was interesting it was a fun night and uh, you know I don't know I'm, I'm not much of a party guy so it wasn't a uh, I don't know party situation kind of I mean it was but more of an adult situation which was which was better for me um, I don't know, I think overall, like, the thing with being a host was that it was really easy to do. I mean, if I drank, it probably would have been, like, a, uh, something I could have done and made a lot of money at, because, you know, it would have been, it would have been fun, and I would have been being paid to do it. So, you know, I think a lot of times it was kind of a mess and I have a lot of other stories about being a host like stuff that happened but I'm not gonna get into it today because this video is already like pretty long but that was just a I don't know basic overview and I worked at actually two different host clubs so I worked the first I worked at the one in Saitama and then I worked at another host club in Shinjuku for both of these clubs I worked at maybe for two months or so um, two months at a time I guess or maybe the Shinjuku one I only worked maybe a month and a half because I was just burnt out like I just couldn't get up anymore I was so tired all the time but um, I don't know I had a lot of fun doing it and a lot of boring tired nights so I don't know I think a lot of people will listen to this and think oh it's for probably a good job and it might be for some people but um, it's the kind of thing that ages you prematurely like you stay up all night every night and you have to like go out and try and get people to come to the club and you have to drink a lot all the time and you know you you see it in like your coworkers because the the older older ones look old, much older than they should and the younger younger hosts in the club are like always passed out by the end of the night they're always like too drunk to stand so it's like a kind of a mess and you know it's it could be uh, all right if you want to try it out but most of the time I wouldn't recommend it and it's kind of an all right experience but not something you <laughs> you'd want to do for a long time at all so yeah if anybody has any questions about being a host in Japan not how to be a host, because um, you can probably just go to any host club's website and apply. I mean, I was scouted, but you can just apply, I guess, if you you know have a picture and a resume or whatever. I mean, I don't know what the resume entailed. I don't remember, but it wasn't much, I don't think. So <laughs> anyway, yeah, if you guys have any questions or want to know more, comment below. And if there's enough questions, I'll just make another video. But if not, I'll just answer everything in the comments. So, all right then. Catch you guys next time.